Wow. This is very artistic. Well, welcome everyone. Here we'll get started in just a couple minutes. As you can see, there, there's a festiveness in there. Everyone's really excited. We're gonna have a really festive um, Festival of the Arts is the first day of 2023, so we're going to be walking around, checking out some art, eating some food, indulging in culinary masterpiece art things, and honestly, we're just going to have a great time here tonight, so if you guys are coming in, make sure you get ready, get your artist hats out, like me, get your palettes ready, what your paint, whatever you do to paint things, I don't know. Oh, Brownsburg Kevin. Welcome, Brownsburg Kevin. Happy Friday. Yeah, this is kind of a vacation. We always um, we always do Fridays, but we always do afternoons. So this is kind of an early early Friday this morning. But hopefully you're doing good. Antonio, welcome. Good morning. Hopefully you're having a great morning as well. As you can see, it's a, it's a very nice morning here at Epcot. It was a little rainy a little bit earlier, but I feel like um, it'll be a pretty nice day here today. I think it's going to go in like the 30s tonight when it gets colder so honestly it should be great oh lp disney welcome lp disney melissa hopefully you're doing good yeah figment has become more and more of a like the person of this festival for the past month two years whatever it's been fun i appreciate him being here Hi, right, Mike Wazowski. Hopefully you're having a great Friday. Hopefully we can start your weekend off right with some arts in here. I'll demonstrate some pure art here. Wow. That's fun. But yeah, wait a minute. I'm going to get some water. We're going to get all ready. We're going to get hydrated. Just like an artist wets his paint and gets ready, prepares himself. I'm going to prepare myself really quick too. And... From there, we're gonna go around, we're gonna try some food. We're really just gonna walk around, and enjoy ourselves. This is my personal favorite festival. So we're just gonna take advantage of all the things we can. Maybe we'll make some art, which could be pretty fun. Oh, Jackman, welcome Jackman. Oh, for sure. I know a lot of people do work earlier. I try and avoid early streams just because I know a lot of people do stream or do watch the streams later, but um, Hopefully work goes good, and hopefully, if you're watching the replay right now, welcome back. That's fun. Oh, good morning, Megan. And Joanne, hopefully you both are having a great Friday morning, at the start of a weekend. I heard, so Mike was asking, I heard about that. I'm not a huge tomato fan, but I feel like I have to try that today. I feel like that's one of the things, it looks good. I'm going to get some water. But, yeah, if you guys could do us a favor and hit the like button as you guys are coming in, um, that would be tremendous. That would help us out so much. And, yeah, I think I do have the menus for the festival pin. So if you guys want to look, find something for me to eat, that would be really fun. And I think our first stop is going to be straight ahead. That's actually going to be the Figments um, Imagination Station, which is actually like a pavilion themed to Epcot or themed to Figment for the festival, which is kind of fun. So... We'll get started in just a couple minutes. I'm going to drink a little bit more water. Feel free to say hi if you're in the chat. And we'll go from there. That's fun. Oh, Diane, welcome, Diane. Hopefully you're having a great morning. So the, the, the festival, I believe, ends, let me double check, February 20th, so it's only lasting a little bit over a month. So, honestly, it's a very short festival. I'm always shooken with shock every year because I feel like it, it's, it should last longer. It's probably one of my favorite, it's my favorite festival, so... And honestly, here, let me flip this. 
I'm an artist myself. I'm wearing my art hat. So we're, we're gonna walk around. We're gonna look at some art. We're gonna have some fun here. So if you guys are joining us, make sure you comment, make sure you hit that like button and we'll just kind of go from there. So I'll, I'll flip it. I'm gonna, we're gonna go in here, but I'm gonna wait a couple minutes for some people to arrive. Oh, Jake. Welcome, Jake. Hopefully you're having a great morning, as you can see here at Epcot. People are running around like artists, running to their paint, their canvas. Hopefully you're doing good. And Roxanne, welcome Roxanne. Honestly, we're, we're just enjoying all the art things here today. Um, my favorite thing about this festival is that you have more than just like paintings. You have the art of food, you have the art of um, they have a lot of different kinds of art. You can get like sculptures. They also have like art you can make yourself. And I think you can watch art too, which is pretty fun. <laughs> Maybe we should get a baguette. That would be fun. It's fun because the baguettes, they sell baguettes in France and it's only $3 for like a full baguette, which I feel like is probably one of the best, um, deals in the park. Honestly, Roxanne, I, I wish I was a little more organized with my food. There's a, I just want to try everything. So um, we're just going to walk around. We'll see what we're into. I know merchandise, they do have some, but it's very, very minimal. Should we go inside? <coughs> I feel like we should go inside. But yeah, if you guys are joining us, it looks like we're at 36 likes here. If we get to 50 as soon as possible, that would be amazing. Um, this is actually the location of the Figment Popcorn Bucket. So if anyone's looking for the Figment Popcorn Bucket, this is where you'd come. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. This is crazy. Okay. So as far as this building, this is going to be kind of like your... It's kind of working in a way as kind of similar to like a festival center. Oh, I like this. Oh, look at all this art here. Let's look. That's really cool. Oh, they're already sold out of the prints. That's crazy. But um, this is one of the artists that worked on, if you if anyone remembers back to like the different Epcot attraction posters that they sold on um, Shop Disney. Back in the day, they would sell these. And they'd be really cool. Oh, there's more. Wow, that's cool. I'd like to have the whole collection. You have Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom. Oh, that's amazing. But um, that was one of the artists that worked on that collection, which I think was pretty cool. But let's go over here. Oh, wow. Okay. I feel like I'm going to have to come back here when the crowds aren't. Because this place just opened and everyone just poured in here. What's this one? Oh, look at Sunny Eclipse. Do you want that power line? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, Izzy, welcome, Izzy. Hopefully, you're doing good today. Welcome to Festival of the Arts. Honestly, there's lots of arts and there's lots of people here. So, I think we're going to kind of, I think my strategy is we're going to run straight, either straight into the, the World Showcase, try and get those boots out of the way. That's always the best way to do it because everyone always runs to the things first. So I, I think the best way to do this is go straight into the World Showcase, or we could go on a ride. It's up to you guys. There was a sunny eclipse one. It was hard to see because there were a lot of people around it. So we're gonna come back and look at some more a little bit later. 
Well, let's go this way. This is crazy. Oh. Hey, how are you doing? Wow. This is crazy. Well, if you guys are just chatting now joining us, I think we're going to go straight to the food. We're going to try and get as much food as, in as we can. And I think my strategy, we're going to kind of try and go straight into the World Showcase, get some like food from the middle and go from there. I think that's the best way to do it. So I think we're going to go into the World Showcase. We'll look, see what we can find into. It's early. Um, but we'll see. I do like the art in there. I wish you could look at some more, like the art on the wall. I thought that was really cool. <laughs> oh, hey, Ross. Yeah, I should. What I should do is I should go, like where they had the art artist signing things, and maybe they'll. Give me like art to sign because they think I'm an artist. Oh, Dad, welcome, Dad. Hopefully, you're having a great morning. Welcome to Epcot's International Festival of the Arts 2023. How are you doing? This happens literally every festival, though. I feel like every time I come to this festival, or any festival for that matter, I always want to go straight into the World Showcase because I feel like at 11, everyone's rushing to, like, the first things they see. So I think we're going to go straight into the World Showcase. We'll see what other foods we find. I think we're going to walk over, walk past a couple pavilions, get to the middle as fast as we can. And we'll go from there. I would like to ride Mexico. That's fun. I like all the banners around here. But yeah, if you guys are coming, we're currently here at Epcot. Um, Matt is not with me because he is working today. Um, but we're here, we're gonna be walking around, we're gonna be trying some food, looking at some art, maybe making some art, which should be pretty fun. So if you guys are here, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and we're just going to walk around, so if there's any food or anything you guys want to see us try here today, please feel free to let us know, and that should be great. on over here. <laughs> this is always fun. I feel like it's always crazy on the first day because you're always looking around and you see like groups of people places and you're wondering if things are around every corner. But that's the beauty of doing it live. We'll have a lot of adventures here tonight. I, I've made a habit of like every single festival making a video rather than a live and I feel like the videos are fun it's fun to do the lives but I'm not 
I'm not, I don't like doing lives early. So, honestly, it's, it'll be kind of fun. We'll walk around. We'll see what's happening. Oh, for sure, LP Disney. I'll look into it a little bit. take this jacket off. Oh, Stephanie. Welcome, Stephanie. Welcome to Epcot's International Festival of Arts. Hopefully you're doing good today. And David. Welcome, David. Honestly, it's, a, it's an occasion here. We're going to take advantage of all the things we can. Um, it was a little bit rainy this morning. It also was a little bit cold. So I'm wearing like three layers right now, so I might stop here and take my jacket off. But up ahead, we have like whole festival markets. We have art galore. So I'm gonna stop here for a second. We're gonna put this down. And we'll go from there. We're good. But it was crazy because um, most of the days for these festivals, um, I feel like it's fun to be here like first thing, just because it's fun to see everything start up and all like the festivities actually begin. Um, but today I'm, I'm assuming it to be really busy, so we'll, we'll see how it is. I like this too, you can you literally, so they actually have like paper in there in the wheel and then you, you go on the bike and then you spin it and you can like make your own art from the bike, which I think is really cool. So you can make your own spin art here. Um, it's $20. If you want to, it's 30. And if you want to frame, it's $10. So that's fun. I feel like that, that'll be something we'll do in a video. Um, unless I somehow just want to sit on the bike right now. Oh, Soshana, welcome, Soshana. I guess this is a good place to look at the merchandise here. It's a little over here. Oh, these are really cool. Wow, there, there's just so much, so. Please forgive like this going back and forth because there's so much going on here. But you have all these really cool canvases of all like the different people and you can actually get your own ticket book with your name on it. So like each ticket will like spell out your name, which I think is really cool. So honestly, there's just so much going on here. We're just gonna try and take in as much as we can. This is all the merchandise. I, I'm not a huge fan, but the merchandise is fun. You have Figment. I'm glad Figment's in the middle there. And I think it's like a chalk mug, so you can put your own chalk art on it. And then also they're having like this new print. I think it's like a serograph print of Epcot, which is kind of cool. Um, you also do have some pins here. The pins are pretty fun. Um, I'm not sure if this, is this chalk? Thank you. Huh. I guess it's chalk. That's, that's kind of fun. 
And then you have, a, um, for whatever reason, for most festivals, they're not going to Magic Band Plus. They're just doing the Magic Band 2s. So you have Magic Band 2s. You have a t-shirt. This is a Passelor t-shirt, too. So I, I like that Figment's always kind of like the main character here. Um, you have Corksicle. The Corksicle's pretty fun. I think, if anything, I'm not a huge fan of this collection, but the Corksicle's pretty fine. It's pretty all right. And then you have a Spirit Jersey, which the Spirit Jersey is fun. I'm just not a huge fan. I feel like if you're having an art festival, I feel like a lot of the merchandise should be a lot more colorful. But if you do like it, it's, it's here. That's great. Oh, Ghost, welcome, Ghost. And Bizen, welcome, Bizen. We're having a great day here today, hopefully. You're ready to be art, an artist like me. I want to go a little bit further. But yeah, if you guys are joining us, we're doing some shopping, some art shopping, some eating galore. So if you guys are coming in, feel free to let me know if there's any food you guys want to see us try here today. As you guys can see, I'm ready. I have my my special art hat on. So we're gonna be looking around. We're gonna be checking out some art. So feel free, get your paintbrushes out, get all ready. This should be fun. I have to be careful here because I think some of these art booths, they don't want you like filming for whatever reason, so. What do you guys think? Should we give the Italy booth a try or should we wait? Are they not even open yet? Oh, they're not even open. Well, it's right here. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that, Dad. Well, we'll check. I think we're gonna be going to the American Adventure right now just because I know they have some really good food that I thought we should try out. So we'll, we'll check on all that. We'll check and see if they're doing the animation thing where you draw. And also we're gonna check on um, the Broadway dining package because I know Regal Eagle has one. And I'm curious to see if it's like available right now. But yeah, if you guys are coming in, it'd be a huge help if you guys could please um, hit that like button. That'd be so helpful. And yeah, the more Gooker members that we have in here, the better. I think it's a lot of fun to get some more people in here. Um, I do realize that most of our people do not watch too early because they work. But we're going to have some fun here tonight. And they are doing the Animation Academy. The first show is at 1230. So honestly, I mean, maybe we'll come back. That'd be great. Oh, it's me. Welcome, it's me. Hopefully you're having a great Friday. 
as you can see, we're celebrating the start of the weekend very festively. Oh, Ernie, welcome, Ernie. Honestly, I, I feel like you'll be, I feel, I hopefully I not impress you. I'm wearing my, my festive painter's hat. Hopefully you're doing good this morning. Let's go over here really quick. First, we're gonna get a quick picture. Or in a minute, we're gonna get a picture. Um, but we're gonna check on the Regal Eagle dining package. We'll get a picture, and then we're gonna try some of the um, new festival booths here. I do bizin. That hat is, it's fantastic. I'm gonna have to wait to show it on the stream. But usually, so for every single festival, how this has worked, Disney has had like signs out here for like a Regal Eagle dining package for the Broadway or for any of like the festival things. So like Garden Rocks, Eat to the Beat. And for whatever reason, every single time, it's like, it's not really a reservation based thing. It's like a first come first serve. You come here, you get you get your food. It's $35, I believe. And for whatever reason, they're not doing it today. I don't know if it's gonna be festival wide, um, but that's interesting. I feel like they were doing that for a while. JH. Hopefully you're having a great day here today. Welcome to Epcot. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Let's see you. Great. Here, I guess I'll put my bag here too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> That's fun. But if you guys are coming in, we're here at Epcot. Today is actually the first day of Epcot's International Festival of the Arts. So if you guys aren't familiar with the festival, it's basically a celebration of arts. And arts is a very big word. It means a lot of things. So as far as arts going, there's food, there's art, like paint art, there's sculptures. There's, there's a lot of different arts here. So I think we're gonna be trying our first food, what do they call it, like culinary artistic showcase or something. They have like a name for it. But this is gonna be the new booth here. This was here, but they pretty much got in the whole new menu. So they have meatloaf, duck and dumplings, and hummingbird cake. So honestly, everything looks pretty good. Um, I think all these things are brand new for the festival. So I think we're gonna be, I'm tempted to get everything, but I feel like I'd regret that. So I think we'll get the meatloaf, we'll get the hummingbird cake. I think that's a good idea.
Right. Right. You don't have anything for the culinary walk, do you? For the um, stamp. Okay. Okay. No, you're good. Um, I'd like the meatloaf and the hummingbird cake, please. Sounds good. Um, apple pay, please. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. What do you have? Hi, um, meatloaf and hummingbird cake. Okay, you're yep. having Yep. Thank you. Okay. And did they look at your receipt already? This looks really good. Hey, Mr. Jeff. I'm not sure if they checked for the second thing. It was the meatloaf, too. Okay, meatloaf and the cake? Yep. Great. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you so much. All right. All right, my hands are kind of full, so we're going to go find a table. This should be pretty fun. Well, welcome, everyone. If you guys are coming in, we have just, after filling our hands with food, we actually just got some brand new food items from the Festival of the Arts. This is actually the American Adventure booth, which I feel like they pretty much got like a full new menu. So 
we're gonna be trying everything out. We actually got two out of the three items. We're gonna be, I wanna get some, I wanna get all of them, but I feel like we need to pace ourselves. And also, I'm gonna be back here tomorrow with Matt. So, we have a lot of really fun things to try out. We'll try these out, we'll show them to you guys. Um, it was $10 for both of these, so they're about $5 each. So we'll try them out, hopefully they're good. And we'll kind of go from there. I think afterwards we're gonna go look at some more art. Um, I really wanna try and complete the culinary walk of cuisine or whatever it's called, which is kind of like the cookie stroll, but like with artistic food. So honestly, we're just gonna kind of go as far as we can, try and try and as much as we can, and we'll go from there. Oh, Megan H. Welcome, Megan H. Welcome to the festival. Hopefully you're having a great Friday here. Hopefully we can bring a little fun to your weekend. One second. But yeah, we actually got two items here. Number one, let's make sure this is down enough. We got the hummingbird cake, which is kind of fun. So it's very hummingbirdy. I'll pull up the official description, but hummingbird cake is basically cake with, I think, coconut and orange, I think. So we'll try that out. And also we have the new meatloaf. So we'll honestly try everything out. Hopefully we'll do good. Hopefully everything will be fine here. It was kind of annoying because every single time Disney makes these books or does the list on online, all the booths are in the wrong order. So. If you guys want to see a more like contained thing of all the food, you can click on the link that I think is posted or like, um, what do you call it? Pinned to the top of the chat and we'll go from there. But the hummingbird cake is banana cake with pineapple, coconut, pecans, and cream cheese or cream frosting. And then this is a green pea pudding, carrot ketchup, shaved carrot salad, and snap peas with meatloaf. So honestly, these look kind of bizarre, but I feel like that's kind of a charm of Festival of the Arts. Everything always looks kind of artistic. So we'll honestly give it a try, hopefully it's good. And from there, I think we'll just try as much as we can. I feel like our strategy here was to go as far into the World Showcase as we can. So we came out here, we went pretty far, and I think we'll be pretty good here. I think our next booth, we're gonna have to try the Encanto booth, which I think looks really good. I had to miss out on that one last year. Oh, Jeff, welcome, Jeff. Hopefully you're having a great Friday. I'm wearing my artistic cat, so I'm very festive. So thanks for joining us here tonight. Hopefully you're doing good. All right. We're gonna start with a meatloaf. A bird just took a bite of my hummingbird cake. It actually happened. A bird came on the table and took a bite of my hummingbird cake. And it was like literally the whole top of it and took like a whole piece of it. All right, apparently, Bizen, I'll show it to you. So apparently this hummingbird cake had like a little thing on top and the, I just saw the bird just take it. So, I don't know. Um, let, let's finish the, this thing. We'll go to the bird and we'll go from there. Um, the meatloaf is kind of dry. It's, it's all right, the flavor's fine. It's just a meatloaf. 
Honestly, the, um, what was it, the ketchup sauce? Carrot ketchup sauce. It, it was all right, I'm gonna try it with the pudding. My throat is really dry here. Hi. I just want you to know I watch your videos. Oh. I know. I don't know if a lot of people come up to you and tell you that. I'm sure they do. Yeah. But I do well, watch your videos. Good to you. So oh yeah. That's all you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Bomb, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So honestly, I'm gonna read the description one more time. But it was a green pea. So it was meatloaf with green pea pudding, carrot ketchup, and a carrot salad. Um. Which honestly, the meatloaf wasn't anything special. If you take advantage of the pea pudding, whatever it is here, I'll kind of show some of the elements up close. Um, there's the pea pudding, there's the carrots, there's the potatoes. Um, it's not bad, but the meatloaf itself is just so, it's, it's just, it's simple meatloaf. So it's nice, it adds more flavor to it, it adds a little bit more here, but I don't know if there's anything I'd recommend. If you do like standard meatloaf, if you like simple, classic meatloaf, you probably will like this. But if you're looking for something really culinary, really, really artistic, I don't think this is the best thing to get at the festival. It's good, it's not bad, but yeah. I think the biggest issue for me was, it was definitely kind of dry. Um, these booths can be a little inconsistent as far as keeping everything fresh, not dry, but that's my only complaint, it was fine. As far as a rating out of five, I'd probably give this like a 3.3. 3.4 um the creativity is great but it, i don't think it's something i'd come back for so there you go it's fine i was excited for the hummingbird cake because it literally had like a giant cluster of like sugar on top and a bird just took it all so i don't know what to do maybe i, I guess we're gonna be hummingbird cakeless here tonight they might. That is crazy though, like, it always happens in the American Adventure Pavilion too. I feel like when the squirrel came after us, it was the same situation. <coughs> Excuse me. Well? That was interesting. I, I guess we'll, I guess we could try and tell them. I, I don't, but anyways, we'll try it out. Well, hopefully we'll get another one here. If not, I'll just buy another one here, but it was an occurrence for sure. I feel like even, even the birds are festive here tonight. So we'll be trying as much as we can to try as much food as we can here today. And honestly, if there's anything you guys want to try, please feel free to let us know. We'll be going from there and should be great. Put this down for a second. That was crazy. Excuse me. A, a bird bit a piece off my cake. A bird bit a piece off my cake. There was a bird flying around and a bird. Oh, you meant. Yeah. Off. I need a 1K. 
six ducks all day. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. All right, well, that was an occurrence for sure. Here, let me get another um, spoon here. Hopefully we'll be able to try this cake properly. Um, but it was kind of essential because I feel like this cake does have a lot of elements on it. And for the bird to take that topping, I feel like that was a very, very rude bird. So there we go. But. Yeah, if you guys are just joining us, we just ate the meatloaf at the American Adventure food booth. Um, it was pretty fun. I feel like as far as meatloaf goes, it, it was a simple meatloaf. I liked all like the additional sauces and things they had for it, but um, I don't know of all the festival food things. I don't think that's something I would go for. Um, right here, we actually have the new hummingbird cake, which looks pretty good. I actually got one a second ago and a bird took some of it for me, so. Now that we have a replacement, I think we're going to try and find another table over here. Maybe go over to the Japan booth and we'll just kind of go from there. So if you guys are joining us, it'd be great if we get to 100 likes in the first hour. And if we do, um, I'll try the sushi donut. I don't like sushi, so that would be a challenge here tonight. So yeah, if you guys are joining us, make sure you hit that like button. It's starting to get a little windy here, so just bear with us tonight. I think the sushi donut is even raw, which if you guys don't know, I've never tried raw sushi before. So I usually leave that to Matt. And I know a lot of people have suggested that I try it today, but I'm not a huge sushi person and I've never tried like raw sushi. So. <laughs> but here's another look at the hummingbird cake. It looks pretty decent. I think you have some like ice cream on the side too. You have pineapple. We'll try it out, hopefully it'll be good here. I'll flip it this way so you can get a better look at it as I cut into it. Um, but both of these did equal about $10. So the meatloaf and the hummingbird cake were about $10 together. So we're gonna be cutting into this thing. Hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully the bird doesn't fly out of somewhere again. Get a little bit of everything here.
This is a good one. Um, flavors are simple. It's a simple hummingbird cake. It's good. Um, the thing I love about this is that there's so many elements on the plate, kind of like a palette. And you can get some of the ice cream. You can get some of the um, the pineapple here, and you can get some of like the little hard stuff on top that the bird took. Um, literally, you can just take whatever you want in your bite, kind of customize each bite you get. Um, I think that food is always kind of fun, always kind of artistic. So overall, I, I feel like this one is definitely better than the meatloaf. I feel, I feel like the meatloaf was heading in the direction of what this is. But that being said, this is good, but it's not anything five out of five. So I, I think I'd give this a solid 3.6. I think it's pretty decent. I think the elements, all the different elements on the plate are definitely a highlight for me. And honestly, it's just kind of fun. I love getting like all these like interactive foods here. So that's fun. Here we go. We tried the hummingbird cake. A bird tried to take it from us. And oh, how are you doing? Good, good to see you. How are you? Good. A bird tried to take my hummingbird cake. Did it? Yeah. He took the top of it, and I. And they were impressive. Yeah. Well, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> how you doing, yeah, man? Pretty good. Excellent. Yeah. Nice to see you out. Yeah. I just want to stop by. And say oh yeah, hi. for I'm sure. I'm sure you guys are alive. Oh yeah, but yeah, nice to see you. Hopefully, you're doing good. Amazing, man. Yeah. I'm gonna go play with figment stuff. Have you been oh, in Oh yeah. There? In the I walked in it really quick, but it was busy, so I was gonna come back. Yeah. But it's worth yeah. just spending time in there. So yeah, everything looked really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Okay. Nice to see you. That's fun. Oh Jess, welcome Jess. Hopefully you're doing good honestly today. It's, it's kind of an occasion. Today is actually the first day of the Festival of the Arts here at Epcot, so we're trying as much food as we can. And it should be pretty good. Yep, the only thing you missed, Jess, was the, the meatloaf, which was okay, and also the hummingbird cake. So, we're going to be trying a lot. I was really impressed with the American Adventure booth um, for the last festival, the Festival of the Holidays. So, I was hoping that this, this, this festival would be just as good, but it was decent. I always love this art here. This place was here last year. Apparently, they have like a lot of like Walt Disney art here too. There isn't a whole lot, so I think we're gonna go forward. I really want to make it over to um, the Encanto booth. But yeah, if you guys are watching, we're currently at 71 likes. It'd be great to get to 100 as soon as possible. So if you guys are here, feel free to comment, feel free to like. And yeah, we love to hear from you guys in the chat too. So if you guys are here, hopefully you're all doing good. All right, it looks like we have some more art here. Honestly, I feel like there's so much here. We're gonna try and catch as much as we can. But as far as art goes, we're definitely gonna just try and look around. Um, we'll definitely be back too, and they always get more art throughout the festival. But we're just gonna try and catch what we can. I don't wanna spend too much time looking at art for those who don't wanna look at the art. So 
We'll try and get a good variety of everything. This is crazy though, everyone's waiting for the art. Oh, that's fun. Here, let's go. I wanna try this new empanada. So I think we're gonna go here. This is actually the new, or this was new from last year. It's the Encanto booth. And they actually have a chorizo and potato empanada. And that's actually part of, I, I believe, of the, the, um, the wonderful walk of culinary cuisine or whatever it's called. I do like the hummingbird cake in um, at Homecoming. I feel like um, the hummingbird one at Homecoming was personally. I feel like that's their own thing. That's a lot better in my opinion. But this was a fun activity. I feel like it's fun to kind of get all the different flavors on your on your spoon or whatever you're using. So that's fun. Hummingbird cake was fine. I think the best part was that it was kind of deconstructed and you kind of got to get all the different bites. That, that was my favorite thing of um, the deconstructed dish. That's one of the food booths here, you can get it. And they have like all the different flavors of whatever food you're trying on a plate and you get to like kind of play with it, which I think is kind of fun. Megan. We're currently in line. This is the Encanto booth. We're going to be getting an empanada. I do feel like, so the thing is about this booth, every single time I came here last year, the line was like all the way wrapped around. And I, I feel like I feel like we're gonna try it this time, so I'm excited. They have the same menu as last year, so we're gonna be trying as much as we can. Honestly, this should be pretty fun. Oh, that's great, man. Oh, that's exciting. Are you staying on property? Right. But yeah, if you guys are in here, feel free to say something in the chat. 
it's always fun to say um the chat always goes quiet every so often so if you're here feel free to talk we love to hear from you guys and from there we'll just try and try as much food as we can if there's anything you guys want to see us try if there's anything you guys want to see whether it's a ride whether it's food um i feel like at some point we're gonna break it up and go ride like figment or something just in honor of the festival so we'll have some fun here tonight i feel like we're just gonna take advantage of all the different arts in all forms so that should be great oh that's fun megan Old Key West is actually, it was the one resort I'd never stayed at, but when I went over there the other day, um, it looks great over there. All right, Melanie. So the food booths can get kind of long. I will say the earlier you come and like, when you come here early, run straight into the World Showcase. The faster you get, the more you're likely to catch some of the earlier crowds, so. That's always fun. Festival of the Arts is always kind of one of the quieter festivals, but I feel like the past two years have been kind of crazy. Oh, Dan, welcome, Dan. Well, thank you so much. Hopefully you're having a great Friday. Hopefully we can bring a little excitement, a little artistic excitement to your weekend. Thanks for joining us. The gurgling suitcase, I feel like there's a lot of food at Old Key West. I like Olivia's. I feel like it'd be fun to try, like, all those. Oh, Raymond, welcome from Puerto Rico. Welcome. Hopefully you're having a great day here today. Welcome to Epcot's Festival of the Arts. It's kind of busy here. We're waiting in line. We're going to be trying a couple more food items. And I think from there, we're going to go on, try and get on a ride or two. Should be pretty good. Andrew. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a great Friday here today. <laughs> yeah, so the, the monorail is easy, but however, the monorail from here takes you straight to Transportation Ticket Center. So once you get there, you're going to have to transfer. Um, it's fine. It does the job. But overall, as far as transportation, there actually are no buses from here to Magic Kingdom. I gotta get ready for my close up, the camera's coming. I gotta get ready for it. Make sure, make, make, make sure I'm camera ready, you know. <laughs> gotta get that lighting right, gotta get the hat, you know, perfectly centered. Here we go, we're ready for it. <laughs> yeah, you good? <laughs> That's fun. Let's hey. go. Um, can I have one of the trees and bananas and Absolutely. one of the coconut and passion fruit smoothies? Uh, Absolutely. Perfect. Anything else, right? That should be good. All right, 11.50. How are we paying? Uh, Apple Pay, please. Apple Pay, absolutely. Thank so are you. you. Are you just videoing for video or do you like do YouTube? Uh, YouTube. Nice. Yeah. It's always fun to come to like the first day of everything. Oh, yeah. See everything going on. So, you, so. I watch, uh, I watch uh, Tim Tracker yeah. and uh, Paging Mr. Mark. Yeah, yeah. Those are fun. Thank you. What's your What's your name on YouTube? Uh, it's Goo to You. Like the Boo to You parade, but with a G instead. Huh? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. I'll check it out. Yeah, it'd be great. Thank, Thank you. you. Next guest, come on down. How we doing? Absolutely. He's out grazing right now. I'll try to catch him for you. Five dollars even. How we paying? Oh, oh, that's right, Megan. You're going to Disneyland. Day. Sounds great. She's like, I'm not working. Hmm? That would be fun because I, I think you, you said you were going to be there like right when all the 100th anniversary things are happening too. That sounds great. Hey man, who's driving? I'm here all day. Oh, from here you. 
How do I? How do you get the R West? I'm telling you. It hurts me. <laughs> next guest right here. Next guest down here. Come on down. We're the next contestant on the Price is Right. How are we doing? Yeah. He gets a lot of somebody. You do. I do like how they did it on the receipts with like the 50th anniversary. I wonder if we're going to be getting that for the 100th. That'd be great. I do. I, I like. I liked a lot of things from the 50th, but I feel like it's just going too long now. I'm kind of. I'm kind of done with it at this point. Oh, that's great. I feel like a lot of like those hotels around around Disney are pretty good. Oh, that's great, Megan. So when you're staying at Disneyland Hotel, it's kind of fun because the convention center was literally across the street from the Disneyland Hotel. So um, it was fun because we we wanted to get like a picture of us in front of the Disneyland Hotel sign. So we walked all the way out like to the sign and right across the street was the convention center. And it was kind of crazy because that was actually the same weekend that D23 was going on. So there were like crowds everywhere. That's fun. Yeah, it was crazy. So when I came here, it was really gloomy and it was it was kind of sprinkling. It wasn't like full rain. And it was kind of crazy because I just figured it was going to be like a rainy day all day, but now it's like pure sun. Which is kind of nice. I was I was kind of worried the whole day was going to be like all gloomy. Um we're probably not going to be streaming all the way until tonight when they're doing the Spaceship Earth projection show. But you never know. Hello. Thank you. Two and banana, two and banana all day, one smoothie. Great. Okay, Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh wow. That's fun. Like you know what I Great. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Hi. All right. This is great. So if you guys are kind of coming in, wondering what's happening here, um, today is actually the first day of Epcot's International Festival of the Arts. And we're here to celebrate. We actually got some food here. This is actually our second food booth of the day. Um, if you guys are wanting more like a video style of everything, we will be back tomorrow. Matt's going to be with me. We're going to be trying things. Um, one of the most requested foods I've heard from everyone was that sushi donut. Um, however, I really don't. I'm horrified of sushi. I'll eat cooked sushi, but I feel like raw sushi kind of spooks me. But if for some reason we do get to 100 likes by the first hour and a half... I will try the raw sushi on the video tomorrow. I believe it is raw, I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I understood. But yeah, if you guys are here, hopefully everyone's having a great Friday. Hopefully we can bring a little bit of fun, artistic fun to your weekend. But yeah, we actually got two things here. I'll kind of show everything. Oh, wrong way. Um, we actually got the empanada, which is tree zone potato empanada, which is, all of these are returning items from last year. But we also got, I think it was the mango, um, I'll pull up the official description, but it's a, it's a smoothie and it comes in 
ex exclusive Festival of the Arts cup. And as you can see, there's art all around it. So honestly, this looks pretty good. We'll try everything out. Hopefully it'll be, be decent. Um, all the tables are full because this is a very busy booth, but hopefully it'll be good. I feel like this is kind of the disappointment. Um, I was disappointed last year because this is one of the booths I wanted to try the most. But every time I came, the line was so long. So I feel like we finally fulfilled what we want to do here. That's fun. Here. Let me try and eat this empanada. But this is this is crazy. I'm, I, I've been shook and was shocked multiple times today. It's been busy. Everyone's running around with Festival of the Arts cheer. And we're just having a lot of fun here tonight. So if you guys are joining, hopefully everyone's doing good. I'm going to try out my empanada thing. And we'll go from there. Oh. It's very windy today. This is purely an empanada. If you like empanadas, it's simple. It has a good spice. The chorizo has a good spice here. The sauce on top is pretty nice. It's pretty strong. I'd give it a 3.7 out of 5. Um, pretty solid. I feel like um, it's simple. It had um, chorizo and potatoes inside along with different spices and peppers. It was a very spicier dish, which I really appreciated. Oh, was I supposed to get my... Nice, thank you, my stamp. Um, but probably 3.6, 3.7. I think it was pretty decent. Um, as far as a empanada, it was good. You had good flavors. Everything was nice, so... Yeah, I feel like it was a pretty decent one. I feel like I would come back for that. They also do have like a soup as well. But I also got this coconut and passion fruit smoothie. Sorry, I'm kind of recovering from the spice. Oh, that's really nice. It's, um, if you've ever had like a non-alcoholic pina colada, this is like that. It's refreshing. It's good. Um... The passion fruit and mango kind of, or the, the two flavors here definitely contrast each other pretty nicely. And this is great. The cup is cool. It was 11.50 for both of these, which I feel like wasn't terrible. Um, but I mean, pretty solid. I feel like most of the options we've tried so far are, are pretty decent. Um, I'm really curious. I know there were a lot of other things, so we're definitely going to be looking around. I know Mike Kozowski was talking about the grilled cheese. So, yeah, if there's anything you guys want to see, I think we're definitely going to be trying as much as we can here. We'll be back tomorrow, too, so if we don't make any in the stream, we'll definitely get in the video. And that should be pretty good here. I'll flip you guys. We'll walk. I'll drink the smoothie on the go. Excuse me. It was spicy, but it was kind of like a subtle aftertaste spicy.
Well, that's incredible. But yeah, I think it's been pretty fun. We've actually tried a good amount of food here. And if you look over here, it looks like more rain is coming. So I think what we're gonna be doing now is here, I think we're gonna definitely kind of go towards a little bit of cover. I think we're gonna head towards um, potentially getting on a ride or two. And I think from there, honestly, we're gonna kind of, I don't know what we're gonna be doing. We'll just kind of keep it open. We'll see what we do. We'll look at some more art. Hopefully it won't get poured on. Sorry, my, I'm just also getting over a sinus infection, so my voice is a little, a little weak today. So hopefully you all can hear me. Hopefully you all can hear everything good. But I think from here we're going to be going on straight towards some rides. We'll also get on some other, maybe check out some chalk art, maybe some live art over there. Um, but I think we're going to keep everything open, just kind of walk around. That should be pretty good. Personally, I'm very sensitive to spice. And that was, it was a little spicy, but it wasn't anything unbearable. So, I don't think it was too bad. <coughs> Excuse me. But it was kind of sad. I was really hoping Matt would join me tonight just because I feel like these festivals are a lot more fun when Matt's here. But at least we got to come out here tonight. I know Matt's off tomorrow, so we're gonna be definitely getting some food reviews in tomorrow. But I mean, overall, it's glad we got to get a good look at the festival here today. We'll definitely try some more. We'll definitely try and take advantage of as many things as we can here today. But honestly, it'll be a lot of fun. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and there is still food to come. We're definitely gonna be walking around here trying as much as we can here tonight. That'll be fun. And this is only the first day too, so I feel like we have a whole month left of this festival. I think we're gonna take advantage of it as much as we can. Um, last year, it was kind of weird. Last year, it was very, very busy. I feel like it was even more busier than today. Um, because I remember coming last year and I didn't get to try anything. So we're gonna try and get as much as we can here today. Oh, that'd be amazing, Make an H. this. Huh. Oh, that's great. So, they're Mickey vinyls. And it's like a random character, apparently, but these are like... Is it random? It's $40. They also have like a black and white series, too. And then over there, I guess they have, I guess better, you can buy each figure. I'm very confused here, let's see. Okay, great, so I think, yeah, so they are they are identified. So you get one of these figures, it's $40. Um, that's great. I feel like there's so many like different types of art here. That's really fun. But pretty much they're just figurines of all of these different characters. They're a limited edition of a thousand, so I'm not really sure how long these will last. Um, but that's great. I feel like I love seeing more and more of like this actual like interactive art. So this is great. Oh, and the artist is here signing too. I feel like there's so much going on here. I feel like a video definitely would be easier to show all this and we'll definitely be showing more in videos to come. But this is incredible. Look at look you have like Indiana Jones art. That's really cool. <laughs> and then also you have like the Marvel art too. A lot of these booths are kind of categorized. Um, you have like a Marvel booth, you have a Star Wars booth, which are all kind of fun. But I think it's just pretty much fun just to walk around here, grab a a smoothie, grab a drink. Um, this smoothie was actually very good. I enjoyed this. But you can just walk around, get some food, get some drinks, walk around, enjoy the festival, look at some art. Oh, Jonathan. Welcome, Jonathan. Oh, thank you so much. Hopefully you're having a great day here today. Honestly, everyone here is all festive. Everyone's getting food. Everyone's all artistic. We're just having a really fun time here tonight, so hopefully you're doing good. Glad you can come along. This is my favorite booth from last year. And there was a line. But I think we're going to go over here. We're going to actually take a break from doing some like art things. We'll get on a ride or two, and I think from there, hopefully the storm will pass by then. And I think we'll be pretty good. Oh, looks like we got a super chat here. Oh, that's great. Here, we'll stop up here. We'll read everything. Thank you so much. It's very cold and rainy here today. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, we did receive a super shot here. Let me pull it up here. 
from Kate. Uh, Kate actually sent $5 with a little pair saying to keep it up. Um, thank you so much, Kate. Honestly, we're just having a lot of fun here. I feel like these festivals are always so much fun to come here right when they open. So thank you so much. Hopefully you're enjoying the stream here tonight. And yeah, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Michelle, welcome. How are you doing today? Oh yeah, for sure. I feel like this festival is probably my favorite just because there's so many interactive elements. It's more than just like a food festival. You have food, you have art, you have a lot of things to check out. So yeah, that's great. Make sure we'll definitely have some videos coming out with better um, and more food we're gonna be trying. So yeah, that'd be great. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. the Ratatouille one. That's really cool. Oh, that's right. We are only um, eight likes away. If we get eight likes in the next three minutes, I'll be trying the sushi donut. So if you guys are here, make sure you hit that like button. That'd be great. And we'll kind of go from there. Thanks, everyone. Oh yeah, you might have missed it, Pizzin. So if we get to 100 likes, wait, where are all those likes come from? If we get to 100 likes but in the first hour and a half, I'm gonna try the sushi donut on the video tomorrow. Oh no. Honestly, Jonathan, I'm kind of confused myself, but apparently it does include raw sushi, which I am not. I'm not really a, a expert on that. But if you guys do want to see it, we're only two likes away. If we get there, that would be groundbreaking. It'd be a historic day to see me eat sushi. Oh no. Oh no. That was crazy. I feel like I had time for people not to like it. I feel like I, I thought I was going to get away with it, but we did get to 100 likes here. Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Vision. Apparently, I'm trying sushi tomorrow, so this should be interesting if you guys are kind of new to the channel. I really am not a huge sushi person, and I'm not one to try raw fish. Yeah, that's what I, I, I hope it's not raw. It looks raw to me, the pictures I've seen. But it's pretty much sushi in the form of a donut, and it kind of horrifies me, but. <laughs> that's fun. Here, I'm gonna put this down for a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh no. It's crazy because so many times I, I do all these goofy challenges and I really don't think it's gonna happen, it ends up happening. And I thought I got away with it, but yeah, sour faced goo. There'll probably be a sour faced goo after I ride this ride too, after that skunk smell. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Oh gosh. Do I have to eat the whole thing or do I have to just try it? I don't know about that, Pizzin. Mr. Sushi was pretty good. It's crazy. So apparently Matt, Matt is like a sushi expert. And one day he just, he ordered Mr. Sushi Express. Which, if I hear the name of a restaurant called Mr. Sushi Express, I'm thinking, this place sounds terrible. But we got it. And it was really, really good for someone who's never tried sushi before. It was, it was great. And then, it's crazy because every single time I mention it to somebody who's either local or, like, knows the area well, they're like, oh, yeah, Mr. Sushi, that's so good. And I'm, like, shocked because, like... It doesn't sound like it's a good thing. <laughs> but it's kind of funny because every single time I mention it, everyone's like, oh. This is Journey into Imagination with Figment. I feel like we do need to break it up. Not just do food, not just looking at art. So we're gonna definitely ride the ride, enjoy this. Afterwards, we'll look at some merchandise, maybe look at some more art. Um, also, I think I really wanna try the new, I think it was like a Figment smoothie over at the Figment booth, which I think looks really fun because it actually comes, I believe, with like a Figment souvenir cup. So we're gonna go look after that. We're gonna find all the Figment stuff. I'll let you guys know about the popcorn buckets. I know the popcorn buckets are currently only mobile order. So if you do want one, you have to mobile order it. And I think next time slot is like 6 o'clock. Sorry. But, yeah, honestly, we're just going to take advantage of the festival as well. We're going to honor the arts with imagination with Figment here today. And it should be pretty good. I'm excited. Yeah, and it looks like Mama Goo did also find that our old figment emoji has been replaced by the, the good one that you can actually see what it is. One, can I get a back row? Um, just like a back of a vehicle. Great, thank you. Oh, Marie, welcome, Marie. Welcome to Figment. Welcome to a journey into imagination of art and imagination. Hopefully you're doing good today. Bienvenidos. Para su seguridad durante su estadía en nuestros laboratorios sensoriales, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del vehículo. Y cuide a los pequeñitos. Gracias. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
to our special drive through open house. I'm Dr. Lyle Channing, Chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello. On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Go, oh, go, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the pigment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. There's sight, sound, smell, touch, coochie coochie go, and taste. Taste my chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Pigment, you are not to interfere with the tour. Our first stop is the sound lab. We'll begin by testing your hearing with a series of tones. Left ear, right ear. Left, right. Wait, what? This is odd. Um, hello? Hello? Who is this? It's Figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've completely lost my Train of no, you haven't. It's over here! Aboard! Woohoo! Next stop, imagination! For every sound, your ears are hearing. A thousand thoughts can start appearing. And each of us imagines different things. From just the sound, your mind has wings. Continuing now, if I may, in a calm, scientific, figment-free manner, the things we see with our eyes can control the eyes of the imagination. Uh, let's begin by using the eye chart to test your vision. Now, all together, if you would please read line three. With F-I-G-F-E-N-T, you can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you can see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing pigment. What spark of light can light your fancy? Your mind sees more than what your eyes see. Your sense of sight can make your fancy fly. There's more to sight than meets the eye. Great idea! We'll go to my open house instead! It's much more! Right this way, everybody! 
Friedman, what is going on? You're turning this entire open house upside down. Upside down? Now you're talking. That's the best idea you've had all day. With just a spark of inspiration, I've made my house an innovation. Imagination really clowns around. <laughs> fun I, I i think it's kind of the proper ride to ride here on the first day of festival of arts being that figment's kind of like the main mascot of the festival um but yeah if you guys are joining us that was actually journey into imagination with figment we're here at the imagination pavilion and honestly we're just kind of enjoying the festival we're walking around looking at some art trying some food so oh, hey mr master hopefully you're doing good tonight as you can see, even Joy is full of artistic excitement, which is kind of fun. But if you guys are joining us, we're just kind of looking around. We actually already tried about four items of the Festival of the Arts. We're going to hopefully try more. Um, but we just wanted to break it up, get a classic ride in here at some point, and I think that was fun. Let's go over here. Oh, hey, John Self. How's your day going? This is honestly a very historic occasion. Number one, because it's Festival of Arts 2023. And number two, because we got a certain amount of likes that I agreed that I would try the sushi donut tomorrow. So, yeah, glad you could join us here tonight. I'm not a sushi person, so it's kind of a shocking thing. But 
Hopefully you're doing good tonight. Oh, and by the way, John, I went to um, Sprinkles. I have a couple pictures for you. Let's go this way. I would like to do the art where you like paint your, where you paint like on the mural, but I feel like it'd be hard to do with the stabilizer. I like cooked sushi. I've never tried raw sushi. I feel like it's kind of, it's always kind of horrifying to me. If you guys know me, there's certain foods that I'm like violently opposed to. Like I, I, I can't, I cannot eat a pickle. It's hard. I hate it. I've never tried raw sushi, but I feel like it's something I would hate. <laughs> but this is really cool if you guys aren't familiar with it um basically what they do is you go here you sign in and they give you like a number to paint and then you like paint one or two numbers and then eventually this paints out like a full mural and it's kind of fun because actually when you do it the cast member gives you paper with like what the finished product will look like so this is really fun it is available until 5 p.m um and i would do it if i wasn't streaming right now just because it'd be hard to stream with but that's great there is a bit of a line to do it though happening over here okay so here's where you check in and then they give you a number those are what the murals are gonna look like it's been the same one for the past couple of years but this is great it's always fun to see all this art up all these like different things here all like the festive things that are needed for festival of the arts so this has been great oh for sure Ooh, sorry for sure the video will probably include a lot of that the things we can't do today. This is just a way to show that we're here, bring you guys along on the first day because the first day is always really fun to come to. but you do have a lot of merchandise here if you if you guys are kind of every year i feel like this is always an issue at least the past two years i really am not a fan of the merchandise they're doing i guess this is kind of like a chalk mug where you can like use chalk to like draw things on it and then also the spirit jersey is fine I like the art of figment, but I feel like most of this merchandise 
is just all. I feel like it, it could benefit for some more color. I feel like just having like a black canvas kind of makes it a little underwhelming for me. But I don't know, they did this last year too, and they always never have, for this festival and festival no. holidays, they never have a whole lot of, like, a lot of merchandise. It's always just like a couple things. So honestly, it's, it's okay. I think the Passler shirt does everything a lot better. The Passler shirt's kind of fun. But also for whatever reason, I guess to celebrate Figment, you have like one of these um, munchlings. And this one is actually like themed to Figment. And it looks, it's supposed to be like a, um, like a fig bar, but it's like Figment. So he has like his face and has the wings and has the everything there. And it is $20, so if you want your little figment munchling, you can get this apparently it's scented too. So it does smell good, that's fun. And it does say Festival of the Arts on the side, which is kind of great. So yeah, I feel like it's a lot of fun checking all this merchandise here. Oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry, Marie. Oh, wow. Well, honestly, let us know if there's anything we can do, anything you'd like to see, any way we can bring you along here tonight. Um, I think the wonderful thing about the streams are that we can bring you guys live. And honestly, if there's anything you guys want to see, we can actually show it. So please feel free. If there's anything you want to see, if there's anything that we can do to make this stream more enjoyable, let us know. Chris MC, welcome Chris MC. Welcome to Festival of the Arts. We're here for the first day. Honestly, it's busy. There's a lot to do. But we're just walking around, checking out some art, seeing what we can run into here today. Hopefully you're doing good. Hopefully we can bring a little fun to your weekend here. Figment buckets around here. I Oh, Trev, welcome, Trev. How's your day going? Welcome to Epcot. Welcome to the Festival of Arts. Hopefully you're doing good. Yeah, the figment buckets, I feel like, so they're doing mobile order. So you can get them as long as you mobile order your bucket. But I feel like what they're going to be doing, I'm sure they have enough. In the last festival, I feel like they, they knew it was going to be popular. But I don't think they were expecting the popularity and demand that they got last year. So I think this year I feel like they're prepared. I feel like they have enough to last at least the majority of the festival and probably more to even have them in the character warehouse outlay in a couple of days. But yeah, that's fun. I feel like it's always fun to see everything. Um, we're gonna be going in here, which is actually where they have the bucket and also where they have like figment themed food. So we're gonna be trying to get a couple things.
That's that's great, Megan. So as for if you're gonna do all stars, movies is the way to go. Okay, one second. All right, I know what I'm getting. Um, movies is the way to go. If you do want to try a different like off property one, we recently stayed at the Jury Inn. If you want to check out our video on that, we actually did that. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Can I? Please have one of the smoothies and one of the pizzas. Uh, that should be it. All right, uh, car, please. Thank you. Oh, great. Thank you. What was it? I'm um, 73 people in here right now. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Oh, perfect. Thanks. But, um, Megan, we stayed at the Drury Inn, which is actually a hotel right next to Disney Springs. They have transportation. Um, they actually have food, too. But also, there are a lot of places right next to Disney Springs that have a lot of really good amenities. We've only stayed at that one, but there's plenty of other good ones if you're interested. If you want to check out the Drury Inn, they do have a shuttle. So right now, the shuttle, you have to schedule ahead of time. So, like, when you get to your hotel... There's a barcode you scan, and once you scan that code, you can schedule the shuttle to the jury. You do have to do, I think, two hours in advance. So if you are going to be going to and from the park, you have to know you're going to be going. So if you want to see more, we, we, we did a video on it, and I think we showed some more things about transportation. But you can actually walk to Disney Springs from there, too. So if you want to walk, you can get anywhere from Disney Springs as well. Oh, Walter Elias. Welcome, Walter. Drury was nice for what it was. Sorry. Great. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you so much. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Oh, yeah, for sure. All-Star, I feel like if you are doing this, All-Star is probably a simple way to the Disney amenities that they'll give you. Is there any... Look, we're going to go outside. It looks really cool in here. I think we'll definitely check out some more of the details. There's a lot of, like, Journey into Imagination references. Apparently, those animations in the wall were, like, originally from the original ride. So, like, the animations they would use when they actually had the original Journey to Imagination ride, which is, that's that's really cool. But we're gonna be going outside, we're gonna try out our food here, hopefully it'll be good, and that should be great. But yeah, if you guys do want to see more uh, of the festival, we'll be back tomorrow with a video with more in-depth details of everything going on. We'll also try and catch the um, 
the light show on Spaceship Earth. Apparently, they have a new figment themed uh, light show going on Spaceship Earth tonight, so we're gonna check that out. But honestly, we're just gonna have some fun here. We already tried four items, so these are six, the sixth item, which is pretty fun. So we're gonna get a table up here. We'll try these out, and hopefully, we'll be good. No, but not for the tent. There's no tables around here. My smoothie spilling on me. Ugh. I guess we'll just take a trash can. All right, so we actually have two things. We actually have, number one, this is the fruit pizza. So it's like pizza made of fruit, which honestly, it's just pretty much watermelon with fruit on top. And also we have right here, this is figment grape smoothie. And it says Festival of the Arts on it, it has figment on there. You have um, some Skittles on top. So we'll try this out, hopefully it's good. I feel like we've tried a good amount of food items here today. It's been pretty fun, but I don't know. I think this, um, the fruit looks pretty interesting. I'm kind of. I was intrigued by the name. I feel like it is a little unimpressive in person, but we'll see how it is. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still getting over the sinus infection, so my voice is a little weak here. Um, but we'll try this out. Hopefully, it's good. If this pizza thing manages to be more than just watermelon, that'll be great. That would earn it ab above a 3-2. Alright, let's try this out. Oh, nice. It's very windy here. Oh, thank you, Megan. I'm wearing my artist hat. That's kind of fun. But as far as this pizza here, there's like a sauce on it. If you see that little drizzle, it has a good flavor to it. I will say the creativity of this thing is kind of fun. Although it's just watermelon, I think that's a fun idea. And I don't think it's anything special. I'll probably end up giving it like a 3-2. But um, it does the job. It's fine. It doesn't really do anything wrong. I feel like if you know what you're getting into, you'll be happy with this. How much was it? Yeah, the price. Honestly, if it was a lot of money, that's another thing to consider because if you're paying seven dollars for a slice of watermelon, I feel like that's not the thing to do. But there you go. There's the watermelon. We'll try our smoothie here as well. The skittles on top are nice. The smoothie itself is simple. I do need a napkin. But this is crazy. They they have a um, they gave me a plastic straw, which you never really see these around here, but. Overall, we tried a couple things here. I think it's been fun. Um, we weren't gonna do too much here today just because I think tomorrow we're definitely gonna be doing more of a video of everything. We'll try everything out. But um, yeah, I think overall it's been a really fun day here today. I think since it is an earlier stream and since a lot of people are missing the stream, we're not gonna be doing too much here today. Um, but honestly, we just had a lot of fun. Hopefully you all enjoyed everything. And yeah, we'll probably just go from there. It's great with me. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this look. 
Live Festival of the Arts. I know it was a shorter stream here today, but we have plenty of things coming up tomorrow. We'll have a video coming. I think we're going to be doing a double feature on Sunday, so a video and a stream. So honestly, we're just going to have a lot of fun here tonight. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and I think we'll probably end it there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I think we'll go from there. Oh, 375 isn't terrible. It's probably not something I get again, but it's, it's not bad. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, I'm Goo, you're you. And I wish you Goo to each and every one of you. Hopefully you all have a great day. We'll see you guys later. And, um...